What is going on guys, Andy Gabs here again. Today we are going to check out one of my favorite places that's near me, Prehistoric Pets, Jay Brewer's uh, amazing reptile zoo here in Fountain Valley, California. Alrighty guys, so we made it into the reptile zoo. Uh, pretty much just gonna look around. I might get a go in the back rooms to show you guys a bunch of different baby snakes and something like that. I gotta ask my buddy JT that works here if he can take me back again. He's brought me back a bunch of times, but I don't know if it'll work this time. Rusty the red iguana. Part two. Look at that. He's gonna come right over for us. Oh, well, that was pretty cool. He's saying what's up to us. I'm not sure what that actually means in iguana talk, but that was pretty sweet. Super cool guy. This is a radiated tortoise. These guys are super cool. Rhino iguana. You might recognize this, guy, recognize this guy. This is also the same as Brian Barchek's Bella. Also a rhino iguana. He's saying hi as well. He's giving us the what's up head nod. My personal favorite kind of snake. We got a green tree python. Huge rhino iguana. I love these guys. You guys have never been to Jay's place. Prehistoric pets in Fountain Valley, California. I highly recommend checking it out. He's got so many awesome animals here. I'm just capturing a few of them. A patternless African rock python. Those are super cool. I'm honestly not sure what this one is. It almost looks like a berm, but it's got kind of a weird pattern. If you know what the snake is, let me know down in the comments, please. I think it's a berm, but I'm not 100% positive. Alrighty y'all, so now we're in the area of the zoo that I have never been in. Um, the remodel got finished I think a few months ago. I just haven't been able to make it here since the remodel. So let's check it out. But as you can see, the coolest part of this in my opinion is this giant retic cage. It's absolutely huge. There is one, two, three, four, five, I believe seven retics in there total and then beneath it is a bunch of tortoise pens as well as some bearded dragons a couple more tortoises that guy snacking on what looks like a sweet potato and then some giant sulcatas I think again I might be wrong but if you look back there that one way back there is huge and we got this guy You look just like Speedy. You look just like Speedy. Over here, we got Mrs. Kipling, AKA Frank from Jesse. Mrs. Kipling is unfortunately taking a nap. The family program, so I'm not gonna say what's going on right there, but I think you guys can figure it out. We got some baby reticulated pythons or juvenile reticulated pythons. This is a super motley citron tiger reticulated python. It's a whole lot of genes going on. This is a Mochino Sunfire Golden Child female, which is gonna be a powerhouse breeder when she gets older. But all right, let's see what else Jay has going on here. Alrighty, so we have two of my favorite animals that are right on top of each other. Well, not on top of each other. Their cages are right on top of each other. Uh, they were right on top of each other. That would be pretty bad. Take a guess, what do you think they are? I'll show you the first one and then I'll go up to the second one. So here they are. Right here, we've got Savannah monitors. I absolutely love them. I actually had one for a while uh, until I had to get rid of all my reptiles, but I'll have them back eventually, hopefully. They're just so cool, they're so intelligent. Uh, mine were in a big eight foot by four foot by four foot enclosure. They absolutely loved it. I loved them too. I had an adult that was probably about this guy's size, maybe 36, 40 inches long. Um, and then I had a baby, his name was Damon. He was only about eight inches long, but they're just so inquisitive and so intelligent. They're such awesome animals. Definitely this guy. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. 
They're just so cool. Such gnarly looking animals. Look at that eye. And his venom glands, that's what those two kind of puffs are on the back of his head is his venom glands. So awesome. Ah. And we got this guy over here, still going to town. Ah. He has no shame. Ah. He doesn't even care that people are watching. Another really cool thing about this place that I didn't even notice uh, until I kind of turned around and happened to look down is all of their eggs that are going to be hatching are stored in this incubator right here so you can kind of see everything. And I believe this is where they do their egg cutting uh, as well as they show off some of the babies. I'm not sure when exactly they do that. I was kind of hoping they would have been doing it right now. But these are all reticulated python eggs, the bigger ones. That's just really cool. I didn't know that they had the incubator so that you could see everything. That's pretty awesome. Have the really big Asian water monitor enclosure. And the animal himself is right there taking a nap. A couple more of my favorite animals, alligators. These guys are so awesome. Absolutely gnarly. just like those big guys we were looking at over there. Here is some smaller American alligators. They're so cute and so little. I would love to have one of these guys too, but they unfortunately need a ton of space and way more space than I can have in my house at the moment. Right here is another absolutely beautiful animal. This is a panther chameleon. I'm not exactly sure which locality it is. If I had to guess, I'd say blue bar ambelobe, or ambelobe, however you say that. I'm definitely not 100% positive, but still a really, really cool animal. This is the giant, the 22 foot reticulated python. Absolutely massive animal. They're huge, I've gotten to hold this one time, and it's literally like holding on to a lead rope. It's just so heavy and so awesome. Alrighty, now we're in the store section of Prehistoric Pet Square. They have a bunch of different animals for sale. Uh, right in front of me I can see Western Hog Noses, Buckskin King Snakes, Children's Pythons, Western Hog Nose, Boas, Chameleons, there's all kinds of stuff. So let's take a look. That's a Western Hog Nose. Another Western Hog Nose. This Buckskin King Snake, which is beautiful. We got these guys that are baby children's pythons. My camera doesn't want to focus. An anery corn snake or anery theristic. An albino western hog nose, super pretty. Ghost Colombian rainbow boas. There's a leopard gecko right there. That's another baby Colombian rainbow super pretty that's a ghost $800 for that snake a hypo Honduran milk snake a Kenyan sand boa pretty cool to get that guy out of the sand they're always buried another Kenyan sand boa you can see him his tail is right there but he's mostly buried a golden child articulated python right there on the edge and then a sun glow boa right there. Super pretty. So I just learned these are baby white throat monitors. Uh, you guys probably know Waffles, that's Brian Barczyk's big huge white throat monitor that I drove to pick up for him forever ago. Um, but I didn't realize how much different they look as babies. That's pretty sweet. And here is my favorite ball python morph. This is a banana pastel. I just love the pinks and purples and everything and hopefully once I can have reptiles again I'll have a couple of these and I'll get a little breeding project going on but absolutely awesome. So I have to go back and look at the footage that I already took but when I was showing you guys the two giant alligators that are to my right I didn't even realize there's another huge animal in there and I don't know if it was just blending in or if it wasn't in this spot but I'll show it to you now. That alligator snapping turtle right there. He is huge. I mean, the water definitely makes him look bigger. You can see he's moving the alligators right now. There's probably a little piece of food underneath them or something. But the water definitely makes him look bigger than he actually is, but he's still gotta be probably four and a half feet long with his tail. That's crazy, I don't know how I didn't notice him before. 
all right y'all now we're just going to go through a montage i'm going to show you like one second each of some of my favorite animals here this is a dwarf caiman a false water cobra this is a water monitor the eastern diamondback rattlesnake this is an asian water monitor a beaded lizard this is an eastern indigo a leucistic texas rat snake this is a timber rattlesnake the giant alligator snapping turtle the big american alligators the blue panther chameleon this is a fishing spider a rennick ghost reticulated python the baby american alligator an argentinian black and white tegu the rhinoceros iguana a common green iguana a green tree python rusty the red iguana a radiated tortoise an albino american bullfrog a mexican fireleg tarantula a curly hair tarantula a Socotra Island Blue Baboon Tarantula, and the 22-foot Reticulated Python. Alrighty, y'all, so that is all for prehistoric pets today. I'll be going back pretty soon to actually do a video with Jay and JT. Uh, I just talked to JT about it, and he said he'd be able to make it happen. So that should be pretty cool. Got about an hour, hour and a half drive back home, and then I think I'm gonna have a bonfire with my neighbors tonight. Maybe play some beer pong, so y'all might get a look at that too. All right, what's up, y'all? Uh, the night is coming to an end. We made a fire, having some beers, everyone's having a good time. We just grilled. People are laughing at me for recording right now. They're both laughing at me. <laughs> but it's fine, I'm not even mad. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below something that you're doing tonight. I appreciate it, y'all see you soon.